Hello my scholars, welcome to my school channel. My name is Alexandra, right here we'll be tackling jump past questions for the subject English year 2017. Don't go anywhere, stay with us and we'll be right back. Welcome back to my school channel right here in this video clip we'll be tackling question 1 to 20. Now beginning with question 1, choose the word that is most nearly opposite in the meaning to the underlined word or group of words that will fill in the sentence. At first, we found life in the town very exciting but soon it became rather dash. Option A, tiring. Option B, disturbing. Option C, burdensome. Option D, boring. Now, the answer to this question is option D, boring. The instruction says we should look for the opposite and meaning to the word on the line. The word on the line is exciting and means to arouse interest or to bring out one's interest. So, as opposed to boring, boring means to be unable to, to engage one's interest or to cause boredom. So, we see from my explanation that option D is the correct answer to this question. Question 2. Select the option that best explains the information conveyed in the sentence. The man's Achilles ill is women. Dash. Option A is weakness is women. Option B is strength is women. Option C is fights women. Option D is respect women. The answer to this question is option A is weakness is women. Achilles ill means a weakness in one's strength. Okay, so because it means a weakness which can actually lead to the person's downfall. Option A, therefore, is the final answer to this question. Question 3. Choose the most appropriate stress pattern from the options below. Constitution. Now, the answer to this question is option C, Constitution. It has a stress on the third syllable. Now, do not forget that there is a rule in English stress pattern that tells us that whenever that you find a word ending with ION, the, the stress is usually on the syllable before the ION. So we can see that two is the syllable before TION. So option C, therefore, is the correct answer to this question. Question four choose the option that has the same consonant as the one represented by the letters on the line. So we have the word clash. Option A, sharp. Option B, cheap. Option C, leisure. Option D, school. Now, let's go over to the board for the transcription. So, we have the word clash and SH pronounced or articulated as the SH. So, we see that it is present in the sound in option A, but we don't have it here. What we have here is another consonant sound that plays side by side. So we don't have it here too, we don't have it here. So option A is the correct answer to this question. Now let's go back to the screen. Judging from the explanation on the board, we see that option A, with the, at the beginning of the word, SH carries the same sound as clash, at the end of the word SH. Option A, therefore, is the correct answer to this question. Question five. Choose the option that has the same consonant as the one represented by the letters on the line. We have O, option A, vehicle, option B, khaki, option C, rhyme, option D, armor. Now let's go over to the board for the transcription. So we have the letter of the alphabet, W, H, as the sound right here. And um, we can see it in option D. So it's not present here, it's not here. Is also not here. Now let's go back to the screen. Now, judging from the explanation and the transcription, we can see that the letter of the alphabet WH is pronounced the same way as the first letter of the alphabet H here. Option D, therefore, is the correct answer to this question. Do not forget to take practice questions with our simulated jam CBT past questions. All you need to do is click on the link in the description below. It takes you to my school website there. You can download my school mobile app for your Android phones. 
as well as my school software for your computers and laptops. So go ahead and download and start practicing these questions now. Going over to question six, choose the option to which the given sentence relates. My boss has an amiable disposition. Option A, does your boss have an amiable disposition? Option B, does my boss have an unfriendly disposition? Option C, does my colleague have an amiable disposition? Option D, does my boss have an amiable complexion? Now, the answer to this question is option D. Why is that so? Do not forget that this is uh, more like a, an emphatic stress. This is an emphatic stress question. And whatever our answer should contain or should be like should be a question structure as well as the emphatic word should be changed. So there should be a contrast between the, um, the, um, the word emphasized and your answer. Now, when you look at the options, you see that the word was retained in option A, B, and C, except for option D, which we have complexion. There's a contrast here, so it is not the same. This makes option D our final answer. I believe you are enjoying this content. If so, do not forget to hit the like button, click on the subscribe button, and tap on the bell notification to get informed as soon as we release the next videos. Question 7. Choose your most appropriate stress pattern from the options below. The word is palatable and we can see that from my pronunciation, the word is stressed on the first label, palatable. Option A, therefore, is the correct answer to this question. Question 8. Choose the interpretation that you consider most appropriate for each sentence. Despite their newness on the job, the workers were remunerated rather and summary. This means that Option A, the salaries were poor. Option B, those paid were handsome in appearance. Option C, the salaries were attractive. Option D, workers were paid by handsome accountants. Now, the answer to this question is option C, the salaries were attractive. Now, why is this so? Now, the word remunerated is, is used to mean that a money or the amount of money paid for a service. Now, when you say someone was paid handsomely, it means a large quantity. So this is used to, when you talk about salary, an, an attractive salary, we're basically talking about a, a salary that is substantial, that is enough, that is large. So we see that this is the best interpretation to this statement or this question. So option C, therefore, is the correct answer to this question. Question nine, choose the option opposite in meaning to the word or phrase in italics. The chairman is parsimonious option a avaricious option b thrifty option c generous option d accustomed now the word parsimonious means to be unable to spend or use resources now avaricious avaricious is quite synonymous to the word parsimonious which means extremely greedy thrifty means to be, be able to economize or manage something very well generous is to be able to give or share to be kind a custom is to make familiar. So we see the opposite of this word is generous. Okay, generous is to be able to give, to be able to sh sh share, to be kind. So it is quite opposite in meaning to the word parsimonious, which means unable to spend. Okay, option C, therefore, is the correct answer to this question. Question 10. Choose the interpretation that you consider most appropriate for each sentence. Now that Michael has become rich, Nancy has begun to make much of him. This means option A now values Michael, option B now gets a lot of money from Michael, option C only recently married Michael, option D no longer wants to leave Michael. The answer to this question is option A now values Michael. Now why is this so? When you make much of someone, you give a lot of attention to that person as well as treating the person very well. Now, we can see that option A is the correct answer because value means to the person is important to you and so you regard that person like he has a lot of words um, and importance. is very much important to you. So option A, therefore, is the correct answer to this question. Question 11. Choose the option nearest in meaning to the word of phrase in italics. The event was a watershed in the company. Option A, landmark. Option B, blood. Option C, publicity. 
option D, stain. Now, the answer to this question is landmark. Why is that so? Do not forget that the question says um, we should look for the word syn synonymous or nearest in meaning to the word italized. Now, watershed means um, a critical point that marks a change in a particular place or a situation in a company in this context. So landmark means a major event or an important event or a recognized event, okay, that equally leads to a change or a, a, a direction, okay. Option A, therefore, is the correct answer to this question. Question 12. Choose the best option that best completes the gap. Snakes and ladders always dash me happy these days. Option A makes, option B make. Option C, made. Option D, making. The answer to this question is option A, makes. Now, why is this so? Snakes and ladders is the subject of this question or statement, and it is in its singular form. And do not forget that the singular form carries or agrees with a singular verb. Makes, option A, is a singular verb. And also, do not forget that adverbs do not affect your verb but the subject affects the verb. So always will not be regarded to um, influence the verb structure or change the verb structure. No, it is the subject that determines the verb. And that is why option A is the correct answer to this question. Question 13, choose the word that best completes the following sentence. I really like working in that office. I find the dash very friendly. Option A, condition. Option B, atmosphere. Option C, air. Option D, situation. Now, the answer to this question is atmosphere. Atmosphere is that naming word that is used to talk about the mode or the tone felt in an environment. So, option B, atmosphere, is the correct answer to this question. Question 14. Choose the option opposite in meaning to the underlined word. The delegates found it better to resort to consultation rather than dash. Option A, conflict. Op option B, confrontation. Option C, reconciliation. Option D, consent. The answer to this question is confrontation. Now, why is this so? Don't forget the instruction says we should look for the opposite in meaning to the word underlined. Consultation means to seek for advice or to seek for one's opinion. But then confrontation means to challenge someone in a hostile way, okay, in a hostile manner. So we see that option B is the correct answer to this question. Question 15. Choose the best option that best completes the gap. The delegates were given dash. Option A, a two-hour break. Option B, a two-hour hyphen, a two-hyphen hour break. Option C. A two hyphen hours break. Option D, a two hours break. Now, the answer to this question is option B, a two hour with the hyphen, a two hyphen hour break. Now, why is this so? Now, when A is used to introduce a time session, what it does is that, or what it implies is that a singular form is changed. Um, you're making a singular form out of what is actually a plural form. Okay, when you see the word two, it means plural, but when you use the A before it, it means that you're turning it to a singular form. So why are we not going for A, why is it B? Why is it the one with the hyphen? Now, generally, when you have two words um, qualifying the noun and acting as a single idea, you should use an hyphen with those words because they are, the, the, the words are, are acting as a single idea. And how do we know they are, it's acting like a single idea? Because of the presence of A, we know it is singular. So option B, therefore, is the correct answer to this question. Do you have numerous questions you would like to ask? Do not forget that there are several solution providers readily waiting to answer all of your questions. All you need to do is use the link in the description below. Click on it. It takes you to my school website. There, you can ask all of your questions and solutions or answers will be provided to you within a short period of time. Now, let's go over to question 16. Choose the option nearest to the statement. My brother's drunkenness often got me got on my nerves. This means option A disgraced him. Option B made him ill. Option C, made me angry. Option D, offended me. Now, the answer to this question is made me angry. Now, why is this so? Got on my nerves means to make one angry. So, option C is the correct answer to this question. Do you have better explanations, solutions, or steps to any of those questions you would like to share? 
Please, please feel free to use the comment section, indicate the questions and the solutions you would like to share. Question 17. From the options given, choose the option that is opposite in meaning to the underlying word. This house, which was sealed off years ago, has now been dashed. Option A, reopened. Option B, rebuilt. Option C, re-roofed. Option D, restored. Now, the instruction says choose the word opposite in meaning to the word underline. Now, the word underline is sealed and it means to conceal or to prevent people from entering. Okay, when you seal off something, you prevent people from having or gaining access to that thing. So, option A is the correct answer to this question because it's reopening or reopened, rather, which means to allow someone to enter or to give people access to come in or enter. Option A, therefore, is the correct answer to this question. Question 18. Choose the most appropriate stress pattern from the options. The stressed are written in capital letters. Judiciary. The word is pronounced judiciary and judiciary as it's stressed on the second syllable. And you can see this option D. It has the stress on the second syllable. Judiciary. Option D, therefore, is the correct answer to this question. Question 19. From the options, choose the word opposite in meaning to the underline. Is quite an outspoken young man, but his father is dash. Option A, humorous. Option B, sober. Option C, taciturn. Option D, silent. The answer to this question is taciturn. Do not forget that the instruction says the word opposite in meaning to the word underline. Outspoken means to be open in speech or direct in speech. Okay, but taciturn means to be reserved in speech. However, silent means not speaking. Okay, so we can see that option C is the correct answer to this question. Question 20. From the options, choose the word nearest in meaning to the underlying word. By working hard, by working hard Benjamin outshone his other brother instead of being dashed. Option A, overshadowed. Option B, defeated. Option C, demoted. Option D, submerged. Now, the answer to this question is option A, overshadowed. Don't forget the question says, choose the word nearest in meaning. What does it mean to outshine? It means to shine brighter than, to exceed something in an obvious way. Okay? So, overshadow means to dominate or to block out. So, these words are synonymous to each other. So, option A, therefore, is the correct answer to this question. We've come to the end of this segment and I believe you enjoyed it. Do not forget to hit the like button, click on the subscribe button and tap on the bell notification to get informed as soon as we release the next videos.